What is going on, guys? Ross here from Consolidata. I'm going to show you, as you can see, I'm excited. We have this uh, new bridge, we'll call it. This is not just, I'll warn this, you guys, of this. This is not the end all solution. Uh, what we're going to be doing very soon after templates, we're going to be setting this up so that way all of this can be handled right within Consolidata and automated. But in the meantime, I know it was driving you guys nuts to have all these custom menu links that you're trying to manage for your clients. So we came up with just a simple little solution that will make it very easy for us to migrate into the next solution. And as you can see here, I actually have completely replaced the actual dashboard in Go High Level with the consolidated dashboard. As I go through here, uh, this is by the way, just the same exact dashboard that I plopped in here, but I'm gonna show you how we did it, how to change it, et cetera. But you can see, you can go in between different uh, accounts and then you can go from buttons and there is minimal delay. So if I go from here and then I come back, you can see there's very minimal delay. Uh, it, unless you're looking for it, um, it just looks like it's a completely new design. And I've personally found that if you stay within one location, it doesn't really do it much at all. It's when you're juggling back and forth in between locations that you see that happen more often. So anyways, let me show you how we do this. Uh, I'm going to take you through the steps. And actually, there's this doc right here. I'm going to be dropping into the um, link down below so you can come grab all this information. But just follow these steps. So step one, you're going to create a new Google Sheet from this template. It's going to look just like this. You've got four fields. They have to be in the same order. Um, if you want, you don't even have to use our template as long as your four fields say the same thing and they're in the same order. That is location name, location ID, share link, and status. So what you're going to do is you will uh, have that template. And you're going to want to open up some sort of text editor. So I have this text editor right here. You're going to want to open that up. And um, if we go back to this page here, you'll see right under you have this script here. You're going to copy that into the text editor exactly as it is. And actually, this script has been recently changed since just then. Uh, so here you go. Um, so you'll copy, you'll put this script right here into the text editor. Then you see the spot here where it says your Google Sheet ID right here, not the URL. That's the only thing you need to replace. And you can replace that with the code that is right here. So it's everything after that forward slash there all the way up to this one. So this would be your, um, your ID that you're replacing it with. So once you go ahead and you take that, now you can um, put that into that little line of code. And the next step is going to be, and I have a picture here just in case you're wondering, uh, the next step is going to be that you're going to go into the company settings of your GHL account. So we're going to go, let's see, went to the ID of here, it's not one. Okay, into the company settings here, you're going to paste that script in right here. But the last thing you have to do, or not the last thing, but the next thing, is you're going to go copy this little section of CSS here, and you're just going to paste that in and that's going to make it so that way, if you don't have, if you can turn on and off the dashboards, but also try to eliminate the flash, et cetera. So then what you're gonna do is on step six is now all you have to do is you edit this sheet. Now, the only real um, fields it's reading is the location ID, the share link and the status. So technically if this was empty, it wouldn't matter. But I'll just give you an example that if, if I type off in this, it's going to just turn that off and it's going to go back to the default. Okay. So now when I go back to this page, as you can see, it has gone back to the, def the default um, page. When I take it off like this, it assumes that we want it to turn on. So now if I refresh this page, it's going to oh, sorry, put in the old one. So now this allows you to be able to add all of the location IDs that you want to add your dashboards to. And then this share link is the share link that you use inside of Consolidata. So after you've built a dashboard, this share link right here is the one that you can copy and you can paste into the settings. And that's what it's going to replace it with. So it's very straightforward, very easy to use. 
What we're going to be doing here in the real near future is under dashboard settings, you're going to have a the ability to, from a drop down, choose your location. And when you choose that location and turn on the toggle, it'll just replace that dashboard. Then what's coming very soon is we're going to have an automation. So you'll be able to say, if a new sublocation is detected, build and create a dashboard from this template using that sublocation as the data source, replace that dashboard and turn it on so it'll happen instantly. So that way you won't have to even think about um, doing anything. You'll be able to just set up one template and that'll be the new template for all your accounts. Okay, guys, hopefully you enjoy this. You guys have a great day. We'll see you soon.